number of subsets now we're asking the question how many sets or how many subsets <coughs> can you get out of a universal set now I've seen where there's a formula and that formula says that big N the number of subsets that you can get out of a universal set or any other set the number of subsets that you can get out of it is equal to 2 to the power of small n alright what's he saying it means that if you have a set and there's a certain number of elements in that set for example if there are three n equal three members of that set then the number of subset big n is equal to two to the power of three well you know that two to the power of three it means there are three twos <coughs> and they multiply each other so two twos two twos four four twos eight so the number of subsets is eight all right that's an example the number of subsets that you can get out of any set now let's look at a few examples all right and see what this is really saying let me get rid of these suppose you have a set and let's say that set is this you remember what this is called the null set there is no element in this set the question is how many subsets can you get out of this set I'm asking you can you write that down and tell me all right let's see now seem like I had um, by mistake I erased the formula I want the formula to remain there the number of subsets is 2 to the power of the number of elements for the unit for the um, <coughs> for the null set how many subsets can you get out of this first of all you can see that n is equal to zero Num the small n is equal to zero there is no element there are no elements in this so therefore using this formula big n is equal to 2 to the power of 0 what is 2 to the power of 0 well if you said 1 you would be correct if you said 0 you would be incorrect 2 to the power of 0 is 1 so there is one subset that you can get out of the empty set the null set now it is said that the null set is a subset of every set okay and every set is a subset of itself the null set is the element that is the subset that you can get out of this you see it right now here it is and it is a subset of itself so there is one um, subset that you can get out of this 
So that's it for 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 the for the null set. So therefore, big N equals two. All right, big N equal two. Let me get rid of the right things here. All right. Next question. Um, next set that we're going to look at. Suppose you have, for example, no, let me let me get rid of this. Let me just copy and paste this thing. I find it easier to just copy and paste. Let me copy and then paste. I copy and paste and then make necessary adjustments. So here I have this set containing the letter A. The number of elements small n is 1. Question is how many subsets can you get out of this? Well, based on the formula, which says that the number of subsets is 2 to the power of the number of elements, then n, big N, is equal to 2 to the power of 1. What is 2 to the power of 1? Alright, 2 to the power of 1 is not 1. It is 2. <coughs> Alright? So, 2 to the power of 1 is a way of saying a number to the power of 1. When you have a number raised to the power of 1, you get back the number itself. Alright? Now, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 1. That um, is equal to 2, I mean. The way to do this on your calculator is to press 2. And there's a button that says thing is y to the x. In some cases, you have this. They call it caret. It means to the power of. Either this or this. Then you press 1. And then equal. Um, equal. Alright. So, after that, you're going to see the answer to. Uh, right you're going to see 2 as the answer. So this is how you raise a number to a power. Right? So, in that case, you say that 2 to the power of is this or this, y to the x or the caret, then 1 equals, and you're going to get 2. I bet you you're going to get 2. All right, so the answer is 2. Let me just erase all of these. My, I don't want to miss what I'm targeting. Good. Let me get rid of this n and this equal sign. This software thing can be tricky sometimes. I'll make sure that I don't erase the wrong thing. Alright, so n is equal to 2. Let's get back to this, n is equal to 2. That subset, of course, is just a. So the subset that we're looking at. Let's look at another one. Suppose you have instead of A, you have this. A and B. Now the number of elements is now 2. 
the question is what is being n the number of subsets that you can get out of this let's see the formula says big n is equal to 2 to the power of small n in this case 2 you know 2 times 2 squared mean there are two twos and they multiply each other two twos four so n is equal to four the number of subsets is equal to four now let's see if we can find out what these are let me get rid of this all right let's see if we can find out what these the subset is Are the subsets are there is <coughs> oh, we didn't write all the subsets for this one let's come back to this and finish up what we had before all right there is a and there is a, we had said that n was 2 but I had only shown one of them one of the subsets of a is just a itself what is the second well if you did this then you'd be right the null set all right so the number of subset is 2 and these are the subset this and this now let's come back to this let's come back to this what are the subsets of a b first let's get this one out of the way let's get this out of the way the null set is a subset of every set so the first one you're looking at is the null set all right, we have three more to go. The second one. We know that the set is a subset of itself. But it is, let's try to go in a certain order from largest, from smallest to largest. We have one down, three to go. What is the second subset? Can you write down all the subsets for me? And then we look at what possibly could be the, to those subsets. Alright, let's see. One of them is A. What do you think the other one could be? Two down, two more to go. The other one is B. And then, finally, what do we have? A b the set itself so <coughs> the number of subsets is four so you have one two three four so you this one two three four subsets so those are the four subsets all right now let's look at a situation where we have three members of the set three members let's see what's happening here let me paste and bring this down and make modifications there is A B C there are three members of this set and it's not zero anymore it is three there are three members what is the number of subsets you can get out of this do the calculation all right what did you get i have n small n is three big n is 2 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 3 means <coughs> there are 3 2's 
this shows the number of tools remember this is exponent index and this is the base all right two is the base so there are three tools and they all multiply each other so two tools four four tools eight so there should be eight subsets so what this is saying is that big n is equal to eight now can we list all of them i'd like to ask you to list all of them pause the video and list all of them and we'll come back <coughs> you would need really need this for answering exam questions but we're just having a little fun here and it will probably reinforce the understanding and remembering of this thing <coughs> Of this thing <coughs> and remember we're going into this type of detail because it's just it's not just a matter of um, passing the exam and moving on in life but if you are involved in any science that requires a lot of mathematics any engineering any STEM subjects if you if you plan to teach maths or to be a mathematician if you plan to study science technology engineering or mathematics then it would be good if you have a, a deep understanding of all what the principles of maths don't just take anything as gospel but look at the proof all right now, <coughs> I know this is long, but we want to look at this. The number of subsets in this thing. Here. I want to make sure this thing is working. Good. Hmm. I got my text box a while ago. Then it disappeared. Alright, good. It's back. First, there is... A the null set, seven more left. There is A. Oh, by the way, let's not go through all this. Let's copy, copy this thing, and paste it. Well, we have this part of this already. All right, there is A, B, C. There is null set, A, B. Let's modify this to make C. There is C. There is a, what do you think comes after? A B. A B. Then <coughs> after A B A C. Let's put A C as the other subset. Alright. And the next subset we have in line. So we already have those with one letter. Then we have two letters. We have A B, then A C. Well, we have B C now. B C. How many subsets do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, one more. One more left. What do you think it is? The set itself. A, B, C. Ah, so we have all eight of them. All eight of them. It's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. So there are eight elements. No, not elements. There are eight subsets that we got out of A, B, C. All right. So these are some examples of um, taking out 
subsets out of sets and we have seen so far that this formula has worked it has worked well for us so far all right i don't think this formula no i don't see it in the formula sheet so try to remember it when it comes exam time all right so that's it for now we continue with this topic another time